Billy Graham, hellbound false prophet. I've known Billy Graham more than 50 years. My ministerial days as a student at Bob Jones University. I helped him with his crusades in Charlotte and Los Angeles. I admired him until he quit preaching the gospel, quit believing in and preaching about hell, and he began preaching sugary lies. What are your orders, Master? 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 About man being his own savior and the Lord Jesus Christ being a kind of super bellboy to help you with your baggage through life. But only if you let him, says Graham. Last week's issue of Newsweek magazine featured Graham on the cover and ran a feature story entitled Billy Graham in Twilight. Graham's heresies are increasing. He no longer believes there's fire in hell. No longer believes in the verbal inspiration of the Bible as the Word of God. like this. I'm not a literalist about the Bible in that every jot and tittle is from the Lord. This is a little a little difference in my thinking, he says, a little difference indeed. It's a difference between heaven and hell. And Billy, you are headed straight and irreversibly for hell. You are a lying, money-grubbing, Armenian heretic. And you will soon believe in hellfire and brimstone again, my friend, like you used to. You're an old man now. When you die and split hell wide open, you'll believe in hell again. The Lord Jesus Christ spoke directly to you and all your false prophet preachers, priests, and rabbis when he said, Ye serpents, ye generation of vipers, how can ye escape the damnation of hell? Matthew 23, 33. A rhetorical question bearing its answer in its teeth as it comes. You cannot escape the damnation of hell. That's the meaning. That standing alone is enough to send Graham and his millions of false prophet cohorts to hell. And no other area of life with such nonsense passed the giggle test. God hates the sin but loves the sinner. Let us examine that silliness a wee bit. Does God send the sin or the sinner to hell? Does the judge send the crime or the criminal to jail? Come on, Billy. You know the Bible says God hates people. What is the matter with you? Perverting and corrupting the word of God. Walking in craftiness and handling the word of God deceitfully. 2 Corinthians 4, 2. It is not Billy Graham's business to make God palatable by clever lie. Listen up, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. That's hated, Romans 9, 13. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. The Lord will abhor the bloody and deceitful man, Psalm 5, 5 and 6. There you see, he abhors people. A stronger word than hate. The mouth of strange women, Solomon said, is a deep pit. He that is abhorred of the Lord shall fall therein. Proverbs 22, 14. Why are you lying on God Almighty? Sending millions to hell by your false doctrine. God hates and abhors people. And even despises people. Even the very image of people. Out of Psalm 73, 20 as a dream when one awakens, so, O Lord, when thou awakest, thou shalt despise their image the very threshold of the grave, Billy Graham. I charge you with perverting the words of the living God, Jeremiah 23, 36, and I charge you with resting, twisting the scriptures to your own destruction, 2 Peter 3, 16. And it is too late for you to repent now, even as it was with the false prophet Balaam at Jude 11. As I've told you on numerous occasions, 
over the years since you went astray into apostasy. We will pick at your funeral, Billy Graham, as a solemn warning to the living not to follow your pernicious way. Nor will God Almighty be the least bit reluctant to cast you into hell. But rather God will laugh, mock, and deride you as he torments you with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. You have lied on God for decades, falsely proclaiming that God loves everybody. Does God love those billions in hell now? You will not think so when you join the damned in the lake of fire. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh at you. The Lord shall have you in derision. Psalm 2, 4. God is speaking to you, Brother Graham. I also will laugh at your calamity, he said. I will mock when your fear cometh. Proverbs 1, 26. The Lord Jesus plainly identified you, Billy, as one who is irreversibly doomed. Woe unto you, he said, when all men shall speak well of you. For so did their fathers to the false prophets. Luke 6, 26. And the Lord Jesus directly spoke to Graham in his class of false prophets at Matthew 23, 33, with this rhetorical question. Ye serpents, ye generation of Bibles, how can ye escape the damnation of hell? At 88, Graham will soon die and split hell wide open. And Westboro Baptist Church will pick at your funeral. Will pick at your funeral. Amen. Thank you.